Okay. Welcome, everybody, and thank you for joining us today. Um, whether it's good morning, good afternoon, or good evening. So, we are here today to do a dry run or a dress rehearsal for the 2023 spring semester student team project presentations which will take place uh, for real uh, this day two weeks from now so two weeks from now all of you students will be doing this for real the reason we're having a dress rehearsal or a dry run today is because in the past we found that when students were making their final presentation they learned so much that would have been useful for them if they were doing it again that we thought well let's get you to do it twice and let's get you to have the opportunity to try it once learn everything you can from that so that you're giving a much more polished performance the next time The other difference between today and next week <clears throat> is that we are likely to have a much larger, larger external audience next week. So there will be many people attending who either teach themselves in Second Life or have an interest in what goes on in Second Life. They might be community members here from Whole Brain Health and from some of the other um, communities that have worked with us throughout the term. So there'll be a lot more people here to listen in, to look on, and to cheer you and congratulate you on your way, hopefully, too. At that stage, I'm going to give an introduction to explain what the module is about um, and also what the project is about. <clears throat> but I'm not going to eat into our time doing that today. Okay. A yeah. That's good. Yeah, there's a place for that where you can mention that. Exactly. Um, so I want to mention a couple of things just before we get going. So Site Arm is going to lead off um, and he's going to call all the teams up uh, one by one. <clears throat> um, the order we're going to run in is we're going to start with green team. Then we're going to go to blue, then red. And finally, gold. I just want to remind you of something for the next two week presentation. Please all wear your appropriate team t shirts in two weeks because that just helps to differentiate you guys from the audience um, and it also gives a little bit of structure to the team. Secondly, make sure that you have the appropriate group activated so that you can make any corrections or additions or do any building that you might need to do here just in, in advance of the presentation. And thirdly, I just want to remind you to write up the experience that you have here today in your blogs, because that's also going to be part of how you get assessed. And just before I hand over, I want to acknowledge the help and support and give my own thanks and also on behalf of Magua, his thanks to all of those who have been helping us throughout this semester. Um, let me start with Lisena and her team, including Tuya, Katzai and Fran, who have hosted us here in Whole Brain Health, who have built this platform for us all to work on. Um, who have met with you over the course of the semester, encouraged you to have meetings, supported you with those meetings, helped you with your communication, um, and brought us up to a stage where I think you're all demonstrating a significant amount of comfort operating in Second Life. Secondly, I'd like to thank Sitar Madonna, who is going to be our host today. And in particular, thanks to him for his continuing support um, in various aspects <clears throat> of 
this module. Some of it will be a little bit invisible to the students because um, SightArm is very good at corralling us and our team, the staff team, the teaching team together, and making sure we're not only prepared for everything, but that we've all done our own homework. And finally, I would like to pay particular thanks to the supporting team from Chai University. So Ginger, <clears throat> uh, Dahlia, Gigi, um, Marino, I think I've gotten everybody who have been helpful and supportive. Most of them have taken this course in the past, so they're a little bit familiar with everything that happens. Um, and that makes them especially important in terms of supporting us today. So let me wish you well um, in your presentation today, students. Um, use this as a learning exercise. Um, I have no doubt that you will find things don't work as you might have anticipated. Maybe you didn't get as, a chance to meet as much as you could have. So use today to focus on what you have to do over the next two weeks to ensure that your presentation is fully ready for Monday fortnight. Thank you. And without further ado, allow me to hand over to Saitar Madonna. Okie dokie. So from here on in, I am personally going to try to model for you the format of a presentation that each of your teams is expected to follow or values of follow. There's room for flexibility here. So the first thing is I'm going to use a speakeasy, which is not totally written out word for word, but follows my slides. So please, here we go. Hello, my name is Sidearm, and I am the faculty team teamwork specialist. The faculty team members are John Magua, Gigi, Dahlia, Marino, Dogukan, Wisdom, and Tuya. Our key topics for today, what to present how to present, when to present. We will review the requirements for your team projects, how to prepare for contingencies, and practice facing the audience. First, let's review the requirements. Team assessment, first slide. As part of your course, you have been assigned to work in teams on a team project. Your team grade is a substantial part of your individual grade for the course. As I understand it, half of your grade is based on your team project, plus or minus 10%. 10, 50% plus or minus 10. Your team is being graded on process and result. Your team process is graded by looking at your individual blog reports and your team performance as a group. Performance as a group is graded by looking at attendance at team meetings between classes, team check-ins during classes, and the team display and presentation at the final event in two weeks. Speaking of the final event in two weeks, presentation briefing. Date and time, Monday, May 8th, 5 a.m. to 7 a.m. Second Life Time two weeks from today. Dress. Team t-shirts, as John requested of you. 
or at least a professional look. Team T-shirts preferred to help the audience. Contingency preparation. Talking points written out in advance, preferably on a speakeasy or at least on a text document where you can copy and paste them. These will help you stay on track and help your audience. Order of presentation written out in advance. This is for the team leaders. Know who's first, second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and last. Also, if you have a problem with a team member being missing or crashing, you can change the order of presentation and keep track of who's left. Format. The leader will have one minute to introduce the team and topic. We're going to practice that today. Each team member will have two to three minutes to present two or three key points. We won't be practicing that today but in two weeks, you'll be doing that. The leader will have one minute to close and thank the audience for listening. Video recording. You will be recorded for feedback so you can see your own performance and feed forward in what you do in the future. Move to the front when it's your team's turn, move to the front. Turn and face the audience. We want to see your faces, not your back. Wait for the cue to begin. John will give you a countdown. Three, two, one, and then you begin. So, any quick questions? Good. There will be a place later. We will now do a dress rehearsal, or dry run, as John called it, of your formal team presentations. The purpose of this rehearsal is for you to understand and become comfortable with how the event will flow. And also for you to understand how your time slots will fit in to the overall event timeline. So please follow me to the central chairs and have a seat. You can walk straight through the stage if you like. Whoops, no you, no, you can't. Um, go the other way, go the other other way. Have a seat in the central chairs. Straight through the stage the other way. Yes. Very good. Yeah. I enjoyed walking through that stage though. Yes, there you go. So have a seat, and, and, I'm going to wait for folks to get seated, or for a majority. So, like, for example, Haley's still out there. Haley, there's Haley. Murat's out there. Not our Murat, but the student Murat. And this will be what it's like in two weeks. They'll be herding the guests to the central area here. And then at some point, John, who's our master of ceremonies, will begin. Now, John, I will give you the countdown for the video recording. Three, two, one. Okay. Our first team up this morning or this afternoon, depending on your time zone, is the green team. So can I ask the green team to come forward, please? And John, we're going to walk over to the green area. Reminder. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> I forgot. There you go. So can I, can I ask everybody to walk over to the green team's area, please? So since this is the first group, um, I'll, I'll interject here and then turn it back to John. So the green team, remember, walk up front. 
if this this is your area at the moment, it's the most visual, obvious place. Come up here, green team, and turn around and face the audience. Be directly in front of your area. Now, John, you're going to be back here with the audience out of camera, so that um, the green team is is our star. Okay, good. Uh, and Muzo, you want to get over. If you're part of the green team, get next to the green team. Good. So you need to be clustered. So. Yeah, there you go. So now everybody you see, the green team is in a cluster, and the audience can tell, hey, this is the green team. Now, for each team, what's going to happen, and we're going to practice this part today, the team leader, now who's the team leader for green? Sounds like Mary. No, we're just hearing a lot of static. Okay, who's the assistant team leader for green? That's okay, Barry. So, okay, Joala, can you speak? Let's hear your voice. Okay, so we, we have our first crisis. So every team, pay attention, because this is you. They're, each of you is going to go through this. So the green team already has a contingency issue. Uh, neither the leader nor the assistant leader can speak. Now, uh, Anita, can you speak? Muzo, can you speak? I can speak. Okay, Muzo, good. So Muzo is going to be the backup. So this is how contingency works. You, and, and you just IM each other and say, quick, Muzo, take the mic. So here's, Muzo is going to do this. She's going to say, now I'm going to make you say this in a minute, Muzo, but I'll... Hello, my name is Muzo, and I am a member of the green team. And the members of the green team are, and then you're going to look there and say, Joella, Rebecca, Barry, and Anita. Okay? And then you're going to say, our topic for today is, and then you tell us what the green team's topic is. Or so, Are you ready to go, Muzo? There's your script. Uh, yeah, sure. Okay, so, uh, so John, hello. no, wait, My wait, name is... wait, wait, uh, okay. uh, John is going to give you the countdown. He's going to say green team. Okay, okay sure. here you go. John, take it away. Okay, green team, I'm going to give you a countdown from five to zero. Um, I won't say zero, and then you can start. Five, four, three, two, one. So, hello, my name is Muzo and I'm uh, the communication uh, assistant of the green team. Uh, the members of the green team are Anita, Verify, Joel, Rebecca and Ali. Um, so, our topic for today is carbon footprint. That's uh, what we uh, try to build on. Very good. Well done. Everybody give a... Round of applause in text for the green team intro. So what you just and and Barry, we're still getting a lot of static, so that's okay. I've heard you speak before, Barry. I know you can fix it, so you'll be good. So now you know what to work on. Okay, so now I'm going to do a quick debrief with the green team, and remember, each team is going to go through this. Da, da, da. Okay, oh, uh, and last thing is, Muso, go ahead right now and say thank you for your time and attention. Go ahead and say that. You need to okay, let... thank you for your time and attention. Thank you. This tells the audience you're done instead of, you know, waiting. And then, and then John knows that he can take you on. Okay, so here we go. So my questions for the green team. Here we go. So, Barry, you can answer in text. Barry, what is your presentation topic? Text is fine. What is the green team's presentation topic? Okay, Barry's typing away.
Recycling and Carbon Footprint. Thank you. Okay, that's good. Anita, what are the key presentation points? What are some of your key presentation points for recycling and carbon footprint? In other words, what's one of the key ideas that the team is going to say? Okay, Anita's typing. You're not sure. That's a fair answer. That's good. Uh, Joella, what is one of the key points that your team is going to make about your presentation topic? Recycling bins and solar panels, I think. Good. Now, by the way, everybody, if you have to make up an answer today, make it up. Because guess what? That'll probably be part of your presentation because this is part of the brainstorming preparation. But let's go to the next question. Muso, how does the display that we're looking at support the idea of your the key topic of your presentation? I'm look, I see this kind of a house here. How does this support your... Um. So our goal here in our building that, of course, uh, other members are going to contribute. Uh, but our goal here is to show uh, how can you live uh, in a sustainable way, uh, like lowering your carbon footprint with uh, small changes in your daily life. So, for example, if you have a house with a solar panel, and if you have recycling recycling bins where you recycle a new um um, uh, put your trash in different trash cans and you have the recycling of them. Also, Good. if you, Good. You've if answered you it. use the organic trash, okay. Uh, okay. for example, stop. Stop. in your plants. Stop. Stop. Okay, sure. stop. Good. So what I hear you saying, if I pull back and look at the house, on the top right of the house, I see a black thing, which I think is a solar panel. Is that right? There's a solar panel on the roof. Is that right? Yes, it is. Okay, good. So the answer to the question, how does you see the display, the visible thing that the audience can see supports your topic because they can see, hey, they have a solar panel. And not only that, they're going to mention solar panels in their script, in their, in their key points. So there's a match between what I see and what I hear. Okay, everybody in the class, do you understand what I just said? What you see should have a match to what you hear. If you understood that, type Y for yes and M for maybe. I'm looking for 15. Maybe. Thank you, Sharon. That's a good question. Keep going. What you talk about in your presentation, something in your display should match what you talk about. Otherwise, why did you build it? Okay, good. So let's go to the next check-in question. Lalu, who will be your first speaker? Alu, who will be your first speaker? Ali, sorry, Ali. How? Who will be your first speaker? Okay, so Barry, this is where you need to cover for Allie because Allie's not answering. So Barry, you'll answer the question, who would be your first speaker? Yes, that's right. The team leader will be the first speaker. That's right. Okay, so for class, this is another demonstration. It's okay for there to be an awkward, silent pause, but not too long. I mean, who knows why Allie's not answering right now? I mean, Maybe he's trying desperately to speak or, or whatever, but we're on a timeline here. So remember, the team leader and their backup is on the ball covering. Speaking of which, 
Rebecca, how will you how will your team adjust if there is a problem? <laughs> We will message each other. Good. Thank you. And uh, Anita, how will you prepare ahead of time for any problems? How will you prepare ahead of time for any problems? You'll do a practice run. Okay, good. Thank you. And I'm going to ask the team leader, what is working so far in your team? What's working? So you've done some building. Good. And then you've led me to the next question. So I'll ask uh, Joella, what still needs to be worked? What still needs to be worked? We complete the design and build more complex stuff. And then uh, you, you actually answered that question, what are you going to do next? So good job. Um, at this point, uh, Barry, uh, okay, go ahead. Barry, at, in text, say thank you for your time and attention. Make Do the formal close. And then, John, you'll take over from here. So, Barry, do your formal close. Thank you for your time and attention. You can type it in text. That's fine. No, type it. Type it. So John doesn't know he can go yet. Give him your cue. Ah, she's having difficulty hearing as well. Muzel, this is your chance to jump in again. I see Joella typing. Sure. Yay. Uh, thank you for your time and attention. Yes, like Joel. All right. Double back up. Good job. Okay. Over to you, John. Well done, guys. Thank you very much indeed. Good work, green team. Um, now we're going to go over to the blue team area. So if everybody can follow me over here, please. Okay, and good. can I ask the blue team members to move into the center whether or wherever they are going to speak from? Okay, and let's have a blue team come up here in front of your t-shirt cube. This is the only thing on your build at the moment that anybody in the audience can see. So stand in front of the visual cue for the blue area. Okay, John, I'll, I'll get them warmed up again and then you go again. So blue team... <laughs> Okay, blue team, you're not together. If look at your make sure you're visually together. We want you to see you as a team. There you go. And make sure you're facing the audience. Good. And who's the leader of the blue team, Sharon? <laughs> okay, Sharon, do you want me to explain the introduction or do you remember how it goes now? Okay, go for it. Uh, and John, you're going to give her the countdown, and then Sharon's going to kick off the blue team. Over to you, John. Okay. okay, blue team, I'm going to give you the countdown from three. Three, two, one. Uh, hi, my name is Sharon. I'm the leader of the blue team. Um, for, so for our project, what we were thinking of doing 
was creating um, was creating uh, and we got inspiration from uh, IKEA because their furniture is sustainable and so we're thinking of building uh, making a building that's similar to the IKEA store and um, so yeah that's what we had so far and who's on your team me, Jesse, Mercury, Debbie, Daniela, um, who else? Uh, uh, Saren. Yes, Saren. Um, NC, Murat, Kagla, Kansu, and I think that's it. Okay, oh, good. Um, so, everyone, a quick fast applause for the team leader introduction and text chat is fine and then we'll go through some uh debriefing questions with you oh somebody has a clapping okay so first of all and this is for everybody in the class and sharon and jesse and mercury turn around for a minute before you turn and look up floating above your t-shirt box is a list of all the blue team members so this is a quick way for you to remember who's on your team because it's hard to remember over five. Also, and I'm gonna walk over here and visually point this out, so I dare to hover. And each one of your teams has this. Each one of you has a nice t-shirt box, hint, hint, t-shirt box that Tuya put out for you. It has a list of your team members. This is a spreadsheet copy that uh, Ginger made. This is the, uh, the roster. And then over here is uh, the, t the project briefing. If you, in case you forgot what your project is, here it is. And next to it is the, the check-in questions that I'm asking each one of you right now. So each one of your build areas has this reference material at the back. And that'll help you in the next two weeks as you build all your stuff. <clears throat> okay, blue team, uh, face the audience again in case you turned around. And let's go through those, check, those uh, questions again. So, now see my script has run out, so I'm having to copy and paste these questions from a, a text document. But this question is from Mercury. So Mercury, what is your presentation topic? Um, we haven't built yet, uh, but I give an example like uh, IKEA store. Uh, we can probably do this. Um, because IKEA is very important brand, and it gives a, give us a very important, I mean, uh, and good examples in terms of sensibility. Um, I mean, they have a renewable forest because they care about trees in the world. Okay, stop for a minute. Okay, so what you said is your topic is sustainability. Got that. And then um, apparently you're one of their builders for the blue team and you've got an idea to build something for the blue team that will match the idea of sustainability. Did I get that right? Okay, I probably spoke too fast. So what I heard you say is sustainability and Sharon is typing. And now, and then Jesse says yes. Okay, now take a take a look, class. Look around the blue circle area. Do you see anything here to support the idea of sustainability? No, we don't. So the blue team needs to put something here that would visually match the idea of sustainability. And there's all kinds of ideas for that. I know they have ideas. Mercury says he has an idea. But the audience at the moment is clueless. All they heard was sustainability, but there's nothing visual here. And the requirement is to have a display. So, so, so we need a display here, but that's okay. We have two weeks left to do that. So Jesse, this question is for you. What, what is one of your key presentation points about sustainability? What is one of the key points? So we looked into IKEA and that they have, they, 
plant trees so we're thinking of doing a forestry around IKEA because they plant trees so that they are more sustainable collecting their raw materials excellent thank you so uh, you're looking at IKEA now this uh, Sharon we're gonna go to you what could your team build what could, is something you could put here that would visually match the idea of I don't know IKEA and sustainability you can just make it up at this point what? Um, we could build trees or we could build like a replicate of I IKEA like the, the store itself to Great. show that perfect so there you go there you got an idea right away and it looks like Murat has joined us so this question is for Murat and you're not who will be the first speaker on the blue team Who will be the first speaker? Right, can you hear us? Okay, the awkward timer is clicking. At some point, the team leader should cover. Um, I will be the team speaker. Okay, great. So Sharon, good job covering, and I saw Jesse was ready to cover as well. So this is for class. This is a fine balance. Uh, Yumrat kind of walked up late. We don't know if he's having trouble connecting. He's here, so that's good. Um, but uh, the audience can't wait 60 seconds, you know, of nothing happening. We there, there's a there's a timeout thingy here. Okay, so let's go to the next question. This is for Mercury. Mercury, how will you adjust if there is a problem? That's for Mercury. Uh, we are connected uh, on WhatsApp group, and but sometimes we can find a time slot where everyone is available because if and. If one person is available, another is not. But uh, be, we are uh, probably um, connected uh, on WhatsApp group. Thank you. Very good. Thank you. And this one is for Jesse. Jesse, how will your team prepare ahead of time for problems? How will you prepare ahead of time for problems? I do a run through to see if everyone's mic is working beforehand. Okay, you'll check to see if mics are working ahead of time. Good, thank you. This question is for Sharon. Uh, Sharon, what's working so far in the blue team? What's working so far? Uh, our mics are working so far. Okay, fair enough. Good. Uh, next question is for Mercury. Yeah, uh, that was a that was. I don't know how. That was a typical. That was a John O'Connor answer. This question is for Mercury. What still needs to be worked? What still needs to be worked? But all the answers are fair game, Sharon. I was just teasing you. Mercury, what still needs to be worked? Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, I don't understand so much this question. Okay, what 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 problems are there that need solutions? What are what solutions do you have to work on? Thank you. Thank you, Wisdom. Okay, so Jesse's stepping in here. 
we need to get together and build. All right, good. And you've answered my final question, which was, and here comes Mercury. Mercury comes in. Mercury agreed. Good job. That's actually a fair answer. Ditto is always an acceptable response. And you've already answered this question, how will you prepare ahead of time? So Sharon, please close out. Say thank you for your time and attention, invoice, so that John can pick up the baton again. Sharon? Thank you, everyone, for your time and attention. Thank you, Sharon, and thank you to everybody in the blue team. Very well done indeed. Now, can I invite everybody to cross over diagonally to the gold team presentation area? Please follow me. And the gold team members should all move to the front of the stage or the area where you're going to present from. Good. Okay. So let's let's start from here. So good. Uh, here's a good point for everybody to to notice. The gold team is building. They're building away. Now, what's not clear to the we don't know what what the center of the presentation area is just yet, but the gold team will be working on it. So for now, for now, uh, if I were to guess, I would say gold team, come over here and stand in front of this building because it's very obvious. So gold team, come stand over here and then turn around and face your audience. So what? So for the class, when you build a display area, it should be... Ideally, it's visually obvious where is the team going to be and where is the audience going to be. Okay, so there's the gold team. And we have Tranquil and Hallie. Okay, so uh, who's uh, Tranquil? I think you're the leader, correct? And do you remember how to begin or do you want a quick reminder before, before John gives you the cue? Uh, hi, I'm Tranquil. No, no, and I'm not, the leader of the. Not yet, not yet. Oh. You're ready to go. Or oh, you... Okay, I okay. remember. Yeah. Okay, John, go ahead. Over to you, John. Thank you. Okay, welcome everybody to the Gold Team's presentation. Allow me to give you the countdown. Three, two, one. Uh, hello, everyone. I'm John Kilma, and I'm the leader of the Gold Team. So welcome uh, to our area. So let me introduce my team uh, very quickly. Uh, we have uh, Ariana, uh, Hale Rebels, Mustafa, Tao, the only Susu, uh, Tuche, and Zisha. So this is uh, our team. What is the topic of your team? And um, yeah, our topic is uh, clean energy, I think. Because uh, uh, when we considered the uh, air of big cities, and uh, this is dangerous for future, I think, and to be, okay. this is our topic. Good, good. You answered it. It's, uh, what did you call it? Clear energy? Green energy? Mm -hmm. just, just yeah, green energy. Green energy, good. Green. Okay, good. So, uh, so, he's, so everyone applaud. The team leader gave a good, clear introduction and mention their team members and their topic. And now let's start the uh, the deep quick presentation questions. So this question is for Hallie. So Hallie, what is your presentation topic? I didn't mean to shout, sorry. What is your presentation topic? Ali's typing. Ali, stop typing. Ali's typing. 
It is on green energy. Thank you. Okay, this one is for Tranquil. We're just going to go back and forth. What is one of the key points about green energy that your team is going to address? What is one of your key points about green energy? Uh, yeah, um, I, I told you before that uh, in these tiers or, for example, near my campus, there, there is a uh, factory cars and uh, they harm to the air because of their uh, using of energy. And we try to solve that. That's all. Thank you. Then this is for Hallie. So Hallie, how does your display support your presentation? What, how does what we see match what you're saying? Hallie's typing. Well, he's typing a lot. That's good. Well, stop typing. We're doing a green roof idea. Okay, good. So if I now this is this is a so if I look at your building, I, I see plants. I see green. I see purple and green plants poking out of the top of the roof. Is that the idea? That's the green roof. Yes. No. Okay. Good. So, so for the class as well as for Hallie and Tranquil, make sure when you talk about it, say for example a green roof. If you look at our building and look at the top of our building, you will see a green roof. Make sure your script says. So what we see matches what you say. What you say matches what you see. So everybody in the class, do you understand that say matches see? What you say and what you see. If you understand that, Type a yes. If you done, thank you, Sharon, because last time it was a maybe. Good. If you, un, class, if you understand that what you say and what you see should have a match, type a yes. If you don't understand, type maybe or no. That's Muzo. I'm kind of waiting for the rest of the class to respond here. Good. What you say and what you see should have a match. There's a few people that haven't typed anything yet. Kind of waiting for everybody. Now there's a couple more. There's one or two more. I just feel it. Do you understand that what you say should match what you see? Mercury, do you understand that what you say and what you see should have a match? Okay, Mercury's AFK. So, team leaders and assistant leaders and communication specialists, in the next two weeks, please help not only the current team members, but the missing team member members understand this. It's one thing to write a nice little essay about whatever your topic is, but it's a completely different thing to build in three dimensions. And that you don't, it's not like all of you are going to build, but you should all understand that what you build and see has a match to what you say. Well, here comes Suzu. Hello, Suzu. Huh. Can you hear us, Suzu? Okay, Suzu, next question is for you. How will the gold team adjust if there is a problem? How will you adjust if there is a problem? You have to make this up if you haven't.
There are some good answers for the other two teams, but I, I'm not sure you heard them. How will you adjust if there's a problem? You will communicate with each other. Okay, good. Um, Hallie, here's a question for you. Who will be the first speaker? Who will be your first speaker? Tranquilla will be the first speaker. Very good. And then Tranquil, for you, how will you prepare ahead of time for any problems? Um, we will do a lot of practice and we will communicate with each other and uh, we will, I think we will solve any problems like that. Good. Thank you. Suzu, next question. What is working so far? What is working well so far? What's working? Uh, if you don't understand the question, what do you like about how things are going so far on the gold team? What do you like? Oh, okay, good. So just one thing that seems that from your point of view is working. What's one thing that is working? You could say nothing. That's okay. That's a fair answer. Or I don't know. You could say that. Just what is working? Your build is going well. Thank you. Okay, next question is for Hallie. Hallie, what still needs to be worked? What problems still need solutions? You still need to build more things? Okay, good. Um, now, that was a partial answer to this question, but I'm going to ask Tranquil again. Tranquil, what are you going to do next? What is the gold team going to do next? And you could ditto what Hallie said, or you could add something else. What is the gold team going to do next? Uh, yeah, like Hale says, uh, we will build more, I think, and we need to work more. Okay, good. All right. So Tranquil, now do the do the formal close. Thank us for our time and attention so that John can pick up. Tranquil? Uh, thank you for listening to us and paying attention. Very good. John? Thank you very much indeed, Gold Team, and very well done. Now, for our final presentation, let's go to the Red Team area, please. Okay, for here, red team, the only place that's visually obvious is your t-shirt box. So red team, go stand in front of your t-shirt box and then turn and face the audience. Now, you got to be together. So Goblin, you're, you're too far in front. Oh, you start at the blue sphere. Uh, okay. 
Yeah, there's a globe around our um, area. Okay, wait. Uh, the wait a minute. Okay, so you want us to stand in front of the blue sphere? Where could you could you go stand there, please? So we need where that is. All right. Um. Like outside the red square. What? Oh. Well, this is a new thing. Okay, if this, if you want us to start here, um, okay, John, I guess make a note. This is where they want it to start. So red team, stand in front of the blue sphere the way you're going to stand for the video recording. And everybody else, back up. <laughs> Uh, wisdom, come on back here, I guess. So can I suggest to the red team that you put some kind of a marker where you're going to stand so that I can direct the audience in front of that space? Yep. Thank you. Okay, good. So um, it looks like you're clustered. Is Murat? Now, wait a minute. Murat was in the other. Is Murat on the red team or some other team? Because he was standing. And Hallie's. Okay. No, no. He's not in the red team. Okay. Hallie, Hallie, you're, you need to come outside. Hallie. Yeah, come on outside. I'll, I'll just ditto what John said. This is visually confusing. But if you do what John recommended, which is put some kind of a stage, you know, just a, a, a flat prim on the ground where you stand on it, and then John will tell everybody to stand in front of the red stage, and then you can take us inside. Okay, so that's it. Uh, uh, John's going to give the countdown. And now who's the team leader for red? It's me, Goblins. And you remember how to do the introduction? Yes. Okay, so John will give you the countdown, and off you go. John? Thank you, Sidearm. Welcome, Red Team. I'm going to give you the countdown now. Three, two, one. Hello, everyone. I am the leader of Red Team, Goblins, and my team is... Team members are Bianca, Siavatil, um Reina the Beef, uh, Bachet As, MB Brian, Emir Shahin, and Senamur. So our uh, our topic is to reflect a sustainable environment and sustainable world for um, humanity and okay. also for nature. Good, thank you. Okay, so now let's go through the debrief. Um, and Hallie, could you please step away a little bit? You you look visually, you look like you're part of the red team. So Hallie, come on back into the audience. And remember, guys, this is being video recorded. So we want the red team to be the star of this part of the video, and then each of you is going to be the star of your part of the video. And like I said, these will be posted on YouTube, and you'll be able to see them. So it's like you have to think, see, you have to think visually, you have to think with your eyes as well as your brains. This question is for Ciara. Ciara, what is your presentation topic? Ciara, what is your presentation topic? And it's the second time you told me that. Kira. Kira is typing. They're going to focus on biodiversity, like animals, human style, lifestyle, and plant. Very good. Bianc, what is, what are 
what is one of your key presentation points about biodiversity? What's one of the points you're going to make? Um, so our first point would start off visually with this globe, which um, I guess represents like the ozone layer. And uh, we're just gonna visually represent like earth and the biodiversity. So inside this globe, we'll have like elements on how to promote um, helping the environment and actions we can do to, uh, you know, help the environment. Uh, inside, we'll have those elements. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Goblin, how does your display support your presentation? Well, we are going to talk and we are talking about uh, our uh, world. So the glowing means our atmosphere and inside of it will be our world. And also here, as you can see, we can see a teleporter and we will teleport ourselves into the world and the section that our members will build their buildings that Thank reflects how to um, how to save the world from these bad energies and kinda it did so what i what i think you said is the blue this this glowing dome dome thing it represents the earth's atmosphere and that matches yes. your top so make sure you say that make sure one of you says that this represents our atmosphere because because otherwise we wouldn't know what it is. And then you said we're going to go inside and teleport somewhere else where the build is. So the audience is not going to see the build here. They're going to have to teleport. John, you better make a note for the timeline that we're going to teleport out and back um, in your program notes. Yes. Okay. Can so I maybe, can I, just sorry, Sajar, maybe we need to question that a little bit. Why are you... Is it wise to try and get everybody to teleport somewhere else? And is it absolutely essential? Well, uh, sorry, you can go on. Yeah. It's not really essential, but for our concept, I think it might be essential because we will teleport ourselves into the world. Okay. It's, that's your, it's your prerogative. So if you're happy that you, you, that's the way you want to do it, that's fine. Um, <clears throat> so just make sure that we know how to tell the audience um, and that it's easy for them to do so. So, um, so uh, I'm, I'm thinking out loud right now for John and Murat. This is, uh, it's not unusual to TP to another little portion, but usually it's kind of floating up in the air. So uh, this is very innovative. It's very intriguing. I can't wait to see what it looks like in two weeks. And uh, again, what you say must match what we see. So make sure as the leader, Goblin, that you tell us what we see is the atmosphere and that we're going to walk in and teleport into our world. And then make sure you explain how exactly they need to teleport. And then make sure once we're there, how we get out and come back. Um, we might need to practice that offline, John. Okay, so um, good. Uh, you've done the introduction. You've answered that question. You've answered how the display supports it. You've got John and me stymied. That's wonderful. Kira, this question is for you. Kira, who will be your first speaker? Aaron? Which one is Aaron? I. Oh, you're Goblin. Okay, good. Oh, I get you. Okay, so I'm going to mention that the audience doesn't know. That's okay. The audience, all they can see is your Second Life name. So whatever Goblin's real life name is, it's Goblin. Whatever Bianc's real life name is, it looks like B. Bianc. And Kara, whatever your real name is, it looks like Sierra to me. My apologies. So you just, for a, for a new audience that doesn't know who you are, all you can do is go by the, the name they see. But, but that's okay. 
this again, it's what you see matches something. Okay, next is Bianc. What, how will you adjust if there is a problem? How will you adjust if there is a problem? Um, well, especially in like really tricky situations where we're, um, you know, virtually online and communicating online, there can be problems with like maybe someone's laptop shuts down. We're all communicating through Instagram and we have a group chat where we actively talk and plan out our meetings. So if there's any problems that arise, we all know each other's roles and we can pass on whoever's lines need to be said uh, to the next person. Um, so yeah, I think we can easily uh, handle our problems through Instagram and um, communicate through there. Thank you. Uh, Goblin, the next question is for you. How will you prepare ahead of time for any problems? How will you prepare ahead of time for any problems? Well, if we consider a problem or find out a problem, we will um, prepare for it, uh, like have an A, B plan or like try to fix it in our group. Okay, good. Thank you. Uh, next question is for Kira. Kira, what is working so far? What's working? What do you like about how things are going so far? is typing. Communication can be slow, but I think it will pull together in the end. Good. And then, um, this question is for Bianc. What still needs to be worked? What problems still need solutions? Um, as you can tell visually, we don't have a lot at present besides the globe, but um, I think what we still need to work on is actually implementing our ideas on the red square. We have been building the past few weeks, but for today we removed the buildings because we want to um, finalize our uh, concept and I think today we kind of did that and um, so yeah definitely just building the final um, elements inside the globe yeah okay, good so what I hear you say is that the team has finalized its concept and now you need to kind of make it um, real so Goblin um, Final question, what are you going to do next? Now you could ditto what Bianca just said or you could add something else. What are you going what is the red team going to do next? Yeah, I, I don't have many things to add. Just uh, we have finalized what we're going to do. So we're going to do what we're supposed to do. Got what our, uh... Okay, Goblin, please close the presentation by thanking us so that John can take over again. And of course, John, you're going to take us back to the central chairs and do the mock close, introducing Magua. Okay, Goblin, please close the red team presentation. Thank you for everyone for your time and your attention. Well done, red team. Thank you very much indeed. Now I'm going to hand over to Magua for our closing. Actually, why don't you take us to the chairs first, John, because... Oh, yeah, good point. Yeah. Good idea. So now I'd like us all to return back to the chairs um, in the center. Please follow me. Give him a countdown also when you're ready to. Okay. So I'll just wait till everybody gets seated. Exactly. 
will we have space to seat our full audience and student group? I wonder here. Um, wisdom. I think they can they can add uh, they can add seats to this circle as much as we need it. They can, yeah. Yes. Yeah, so yes, we can do that. It, it expands. Right. And there's plenty of room around us to expand as well. So that's yeah. Good. Yeah. I'll give you a countdown then, Magra. Sure. Three, two, one. And okay. Um, this was a very nice event uh, with all of the students presenting for, in four different areas and uh, all about their topics, uh, highlighting the sustainability, one of the very important issues that we're facing today. And uh, we are here combining two very important themes, the digitalization and the sustainability together in this course. And that is why we have a presentation like this today, and so on. So I will be closing up a speech like that, and then uh, we will probably ask the. Uh, are, are we going to ask the audience uh, side up for any questions or any comments, or are we going to do that in during the presentation areas for each? Uh, I think what we're going. Okay, so. What you just did is exactly right. You're gonna you're gonna <coughs> emphasize the key points. Then you would thank us for our time and attention, and then you can open up for general questions. We won't do questions at the student areas. I I, I recommend you do not do questions. Yeah, John says that. Do the Q and A here. Okay, so we'll be we'll be doing that here. Okay, so go ahead and for now. Just thank us for our time and attention. And okay. Then, and then I'm gonna take over again. Okay, so thank you for your time and attention, uh, and uh, now I'm handing the baton again to the sidearm. Okay, so this concludes the dress rehearsal, so follow me back to the, the briefing area where we started. Which is this, uh, wherever it is, oh, it's over here. Follow me back over to the briefing area. And then, uh, Wisdom, uh, Magua, turn your mic off. There you go. Okay, so what we're going to do now is a debriefing about plans for the presentation. Everybody's here. Here are the key points we need to emphasize. In addition to the tips that I gave you and that you heard that, by, by the way, excellent job. All of you, all of the teams did a good job coming up with answers for contingency. So I hope that you steal each other's ideas using Instagram, using WhatsApp, being logged online at the same time on your phone as you are in Second Life works well. Uh, one tip that some of the teams like to do is they give each other a copy of their talking points. So for example, um, if, if one of the members of one of the team can't log in, uh, but the team leader has a copy of their script, the team leader will give their part of the talk. And you'll actually get credit for that. That'll be considered good as long as the, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a legitimate emergency. So yes, Wisdom says, share your talking points with each other. So that's the only thing I would add. Now, I want to emphasize the following points. You each get two to three minutes to do your part of the talk. Two to three minutes. That sounds, I don't know if that sounds long or short to you, but that's it. That's the limit. And wisdom, I, I've got it in the thingy okay. here. Yeah. So how do you make sure that you stay in two to three minutes? Well, 
read your script out loud with a timer, like I use my phone. Read your script out loud with a timer. Write it. Read it out loud, and if you have to, edit it. If you go over 180 seconds, we will cut you off politely but firmly. You'll be cut off at 180 seconds because there's a timeline and everybody else needs a chance to speak, plus the audience will get restless. It's a professional thing to do. Time check your script and honor it. That said, the leader will have a little extra time to introduce the team or late arrivals. And if you crash or you lose your sound, that will not count against you. We, we understand. That will not count against your time limit if, you have, if we have to wait a little to get back on. That's okay. But the leader should be ready to change the order. If one of your team members is crashing and logging back in, skip to the next person, have them do their talk, and then go back. Does this make sense? Do you understand what I'm saying? Type a yes or a no. Karen says she understands. Goblin, Bianc. Good. Keep going. Good. All right. So, again, your displays and your scripts must clearly demonstrate achieving sustainability in the metaverse. What I said was more simple. What you say and what we see should have a match. There should be a match between what we see and what you say. And you've already assured me that you understand that point. And finally, there are two weeks left in which to put this together. Two weeks left in which to put this together. And in a little bit, there'll be some Q&A time where um, uh, Wisdom will have a chance to reinforce the help that's available, and John and Magua as well. So, today, today, we have reviewed the requirements for your team projects, how to prepare for contingencies, and practiced facing the audience. We focused on what to present, how to present, and when to present. Thank you for your time and attention. And now back to John and the faculty team for questions. Thank you, Sitar, um, for conducting that, I think, really helpful review. So, um, Magua and I um, and the rest of the team, are you have us all here, you have our attention. Are there any questions that have arisen in any of the students' minds following this? Anything you don't understand or you're unsure about? Now is the time to ask. Is there any help you might need? I would like to say something here, John, if, uh, since the students are thinking about their questions, maybe we might help them in a way. Um, some of the students had problems with their mic or speakers or whatever. I mean, if they keep having that issues, if they cannot solve themselves uh, in a couple of days, please bring that laptops or whatever the gadgets you're using for logging in Second Life to school. So we might get uh, help from the IT and try to fix it uh, before the presentation. And do not be so late for that, like, do not come in the last minute because we don't know if the IT will be available at that time. So please do that as soon as possible and make sure that your mics and your uh, computers or whatever uh, is ready before the presentations.
So Goblins has a question about teleportation that he would like to get some help with after the class. I'm sure that can be arranged, Goblins. So I've, I've got a question I'll ask. Please go ahead. Um, okay. So let's say that I'm on one of these teams and I've been showing up and doing my build and I've just had Sidearm tell me that half my grade depends on how my team does and half my team never shows up. Is that going to kill my grade? How do you allow for that, professors? Okay, I, I'll answer first <clears throat> for the Irish students. A very good question indeed and in fact we've discussed it a little bit um, in our, our own classes. So, for the Irish students you will note um, that the criteria, the assessment criteria for this project are mostly independent criteria. So you are assessed Sorry, I think, Liz, you might have a mic open. If you could close oh, that for a moment. Thanks. So, you, as students, you will, be in, you will be assessed on your individual contribution to the project. Um, and as well as assessing that in your contribution to the previous few classes, and particularly this class today, and more particularly the class in two weeks, you also have the opportunity in your blog to write about the experience of the team project and to explain your contribution towards the team, the development of the team, um, the work that the team produced, and <clears throat> your contribution to the final presentation. And you also have an opportunity to demonstrate your understanding of how teams work. So even if your team has not worked very well, so, for instance, maybe some of the team members didn't come to meetings. Maybe you found it very difficult to arrange meetings that everybody could attend on time. You can write about that and demonstrate how your team didn't particularly follow the theory that we heard from Sightarm about how teams should work and talk a little bit about how you would approach this in the future. Um, so what you learn from poor team performance can sometimes be much more important than what you might not learn from very good team performance. Magwa, you might want to add um, something to that for for your students. I know you you have a similar approach. Yes, and uh, we we also evaluate the reports, and and you're right about that. Like. Uh, to come up with something and learn something from the, any experience here is very valuable and good. And you have to show it that what you learn, if, if your team didn't do, do did good, and you have to explain it why do you think it was not good and uh, that you will not maybe um, redo it when you do something like that in the future. And then um, the other thing is we are always, uh, it's, it's a process for us, the grading. It's not only the final event itself. So we are even grading you guys now because you're here. You tried to uh, do the rehearsal with us. Some didn't do that for some reason and they don't let us know why. So those are the things that affecting your individual grades. We are following up the, the chats, groups, that how are you? involving them there, how are you talking to each other, we try to observe as much as we could do and we kind of, uh, you know, select the more active and uh, serious students and differ from the others. That is what we're trying to do in the whole process. And um, as well as usually it is the same outcome comes out uh, from the groups that works good during the process, they usually end up good results. And that, that was the case like last term, for example. So those are all the things that we consider while we're grading you guys individually. Okay, good. And I'll just add my own 
build on that. The, the, the last thing I said, and Wisdom, if you don't mind, if you can summarize this in a minute, if you're still there. Whatever happens on each team project, you can learn from it and build on it. So I'm, I'm dittoing what John and Magwa just said. No matter what happens, you can build on it and learn from it, and it helps you go and grow. As long as you put your own time and attention, and everybody here today did that. Every one of you here today, like Magwa said, was here and made things happen, and you have grown from it. So just keep doing that. And it doesn't matter what those other guys are doing. It doesn't matter. What you do is what matters most. Thanks. Okay, back to you, John and Magua. Thank you, Saitaram. That's very true. Wisdom, um, did you want to say something? Yes, I, I, <laughs> I kept turning my voice on by mistake. Sorry. Uh, yeah, I wanted to, to you. I asked her what she would like the students to know. So I'm going to put that in chat and explain it a little bit. Okay. For the students, keep your builds within your team floor perimeter, except the plant. You can put plants around it. There are plants up on the sample platform. I've shown it to some students. Some of us have shown that to you. You can copy any of them and, and use them around your thing. You have to keep the same shape that you have. If you want to change the shape, you just have to put, if you want a square inside the circle, you have to put it inside the circle. But that's something that was already set up. Um, she said, use stairs or teleporters for upper floors. And think locally when you're thinking about how to, you know, create the ideas of your build. I also want to point to the presentation tools, which are a big box over in that circle where we sat at the beginning. It has the speakeasy in it, for example. And in the speakeasy, there are all the directions. If you edit it, are inside of it very easily. And there are other things you can use in there as well. As you know, the speakeasy is, is very important here. And then I have just want to make the point that communication among you and with us is so important. When you don't communicate, we don't know if you're active in the class. So use your communication channels to show you are here. That's here. Uh, I just did it again, didn't I? <laughs> so, you know. If you have not been speaking in your channels, please type something so other team members know you are reading what you are seeing. Every week we send you, the WH team sends each of you, your teams, a prompt for the week to get you moving. Have you seen those prompts and are you using them? That's an important question. It's an experiment we're trying to help you move forward. So we'd like some feedback from you on whether those prompts are helpful or not, because we're very diligent about creating them. And if you have any questions, we are here. You, you are friends with, uh, let me write the names, Fran, Tuya, Cat's Eye, oh. Wisdom Seekers, me. Okay, so when you see us online, you can always IM us and ask for help if we're here. And if you want our help, just in your in your communication channel, in your WhatsApp or Instagram, you can make a request to meet us. We will see it. Everybody is, of course, yeah, right. So that's important. And if you have, uh, if you haven't friended any of us, use your WhatsApp or friend us now. So we'll be available, particularly these next two weeks, to help you. But you have to contact us. 